Hello. On behalf of Alpha Omega team, today I would like to take a few minutes to talk about one of the element quality criterion, and that is orthogonal quality. The definition of orthogonal quality, how to calculate it, and what is the acceptable limit are the topics that we're going to talk today. First, let's see what's the definition of orthogonal quality. The concept of mesh orthogonality represents how close the angles between adjacent element faces or adjacent element edges are to some optimal angle, depending on the relevant topology. An example for orthogonality is presented as in ANSYS in the figure below. The range for orthogonal quality is 0 to 1, where a value of 0 is worst and a value of 1 is the best. So here we have a triad element and there are three other elements, three other triad elements that are attached to the edges of our element. The orthogonal quality for cells is computed using the face normal vector AI for each face. So basically AI is the face normal vector for each face. The vector from the cell centroid to the centroid of each of the adjacent cells, CI. So basically, our CI is representing the vector from the cell centroid to the centroid of each of the adjacent cells. And the vector from the cell centroid to each of the faces, FI, which is basically the vector from the cell centroid to each of the faces. Figure below illustrates the vector used to determine the orthogonal quality for cell. Now let's go ahead and see how can we calculate the orthogonal quality. For each face, the cosines of the angle between AI and CI and between AI and FI are calculated. The smallest calculated cosine value is the orthogonality of the cell. Finally, Orthogonal quality depends on cell type. For tetrahedra, prism, and pyramid cells, the orthogonal quality is the minimum of the orthogonality, and one will be cell skewness. For hexahedral and polyhedra cells, the orthogonal quality is the same as the orthogon orthogonality. One important question is, how can we go ahead and calculate AI, CI, and FI? Well, in this case, we have a 2D triad element that has three nodes. Each node has two components. Using those components, we can go ahead and find each of these vectors. To know how to calculate that or have a background how to calculate that, you can go ahead and see other, our other YouTube videos. Mathematical background of element for, for uh, mathematical background for element quality and calculating warping angle and warping factor. Now let's go ahead and talk about important points in calculating orthogonal quality. When the cell is located on the boundary, the vector CI across the boundary phase is ignored during the quality computation. When the cell is separated from the adjacent cell by an internal wall, like a baffle. A vector CI across the internal boundary phase is ignored during the quality computation. When the adjacent cells share a parent-child re relation, the vector FI is the vector from cell centroid to the centroid of the, fa of the child phase, while the vector CI is the, ve is, is the vector from the cell centroid to the centroid of the adjacent child, sh child cell sharing the child phase. Orthogonal quality is the meshing application is equivalent to inverse orthogonal quality in ANSYS flow and meshing, except that the scale is reversed. So inverse orthogonal quality is one minus orthogonal quality. The orthogonal quality values may not correspond exactly with the inverse orthogonal quality values in ANSYS flow and because the computation depends on boundary conditions on internal surfaces, like wall versus interior fan, radiator, perus jump. 
Ansys 1 may return different results which reflect the modified MISH topology on which CFT simulations are performed. Also, for cut cell MISHs, the elements in the MISHing application are traditional. Hex, tet, wedge, and pyramid elements. When a cut cell MISH is exported from the MISHing application to ANSYS flowing elements that are connected to the tetrahedra assembly algorithms, uses only traditional element types. In a similar way, orthogonal quality for faces is computed as the smallest cosine of the angle between the edge normal vector, AI, to the centroid of the each edge. Here, we have, a, we have a trial element that is showing exactly how these relations are represented. Now, what is the recommended orthogonal quality? Again, just like any other element quali quality criterion, it is important and it is dependent to the simulation that you are doing. If it's a CFD simulation or a structural analysis simulation, it's going to be different. As a rule of thumb, and based on experience, we recommend for your orthogonal quality for FA analysis to keep it higher than 0.6 and for CFD analysis to keep it higher than 0.1. Thank you very much for paying attention to this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Thanks for watching our video and hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos.